There are two reports that people have to submit. The first is a footprint report and the second is an annual report. The footprint report is only submitted once in a phase and we use the footprint report to take on board a company's organisations. All of their regulated emissions are submitted within the footprint report and we use the footprint report to base all future analysis on so we can compare the emissions each year against the annual report. So the footprint report is, is submitted between April and July on the CRC registry and all your emissions are put into boxes within that so you need to have prepared all your regulated emissions that you can then put onto the registry. To start your footprint report you need to understand all of your organisation's emissions taking into account everything. So you start off with the, with the big picture. Then you have to exclude all of your excluded uses. You have to take them away from your organisation's whole. So the excluded uses may be um, domestic accommodation, energy used outside of the UK, or transport. So all of those must be removed from, from your total emissions. Once you've taken away your excluded uses, if your company or organisation generates its own electricity, and for that you get electricity generating credits, at this stage you must enter those into the registry. So you enter those as kilowatt hours, and the CRC registry will convert it into emissions for you. And that emissions value will be then deducted from your total emissions for your footprint report. So at this stage, you're left with your relevant emissions. Now you need to consider whether your organisation or any part of the organisation has a, a member climate change agreement. If they do have a member CCA, you need to remove all of these emissions from, from that total. And that will leave you with your total footprint emissions to be reported on for CRC purposes. Now you've got your total footprint emissions, this includes everything else. So all your residual supply, um, all the bits and bobs that add up to more than your core gas and electricity, your EU ETS emissions and any further CCAs that you've got. It's just the whole picture and that's what we're interested for footprint reporting. Now you've calculated your total footprint emissions, that's 100% as far as CRC is concerned. Now you need to work out how your organisation's fuel supply is split. Okay? So from there you can calculate your regulated supply. Your regulated supply is made up of any CCAs that you've got, climate change agreements, your groups. Any supply that goes for EU ETS needs to be accounted for. And of course your core gas and electricity supply all forms part of your regulated emissions. Now, if that adds up to 90% of your total, your total footprint, then that can be entered straight onto the registry. That's as far as you need to go. If it doesn't account for 90%, then you need to make up the rest, make it up to that 90, by taking in residual fuel types. If you want more information on any of the, any of the things that we've talked about, particularly fuel supplies, CCAs, and the whole footprint report guidance, it can all be found on our website.